Hey guys and welcome back to another video and well actually another new strategy I mean well it's kind of obvious right that with the new update there are more and more strategies coming out as the players are progressing and trying out new things and we already had the super wizard blimp in combination with Lalo but now some people actually came across the possibility that we can use the super wizard blimp with dragons that's actually pretty strong because one of the main things about dragons is pathing, right? Like if you have like this really nice path for the dragons, they are crazy strong. Like they're so tanky and even a ton of black mines in combination with a couple of cocoloons, you have no problems. Gaku was one of the first guys who tried this and so huge shout out to him obviously. So I tried this as well in Legend and the success was pretty mixed in the beginning. But as soon as we figured out how to use this strategy a little bit better, we had a ton of triples. So I want to share a couple of the attacks with you guys. I want to kind of show you how to use the strategy, what you should look out for. And well, if you're kind of like a dragon type guy or if you just like the super wizards, this is one of the best ways and how you can use it. And you can use dragons as well. So let's get started with the first base. And those bases, I get so many questions like, it's how do I attack bases like this with Queen Charge Harbor? And actually it's quite tricky because there are so many traps around the town hall in front of the town hall it makes it kind of rough to charge at the same time charging on the other side makes it kind of risky to get the second star so facing bases like this which are quite compact it's so easy it's so easy to attack them with a the super wizard blimp you just n need to get the super wizards close to the high hp buildings and that's basically it so what we're trying to do is try to get the super wizard blimp close to the eagle Get it into the core. That's the goal right now, which I have. The blimp is flying, the blimp is flying, and the blimp is actually reaching its goal. And the next thing, which is really important, you need to practice the timing with the invisibility spell and obviously with the raid spell. And as soon as you're having that, like, figured out, it's insane. Just take a look at the value. Like, my super wizards are keep going, and now they're even getting the top side. So 25% of the core of the base is already gone. And now I have to figure out... What the hell do I do? I did not expect that much value. So, well, I have to figure out where to start, right? <laughs> so I just think, okay, let's let's just start at the right side. Let the town hall be back. And I mean, we have already taken out so much of the space. There is basically nothing left to defend this. I mean, yes, obviously two scatters, but to be honest, we have the heal and everything. So who cares? And uh, well, so let's let's just try it and push it. I use the Royal Champion at the bottom side because I'm kind of afraid of my dragons are going somewhere else. I'm using the Royal Champ quite early, but still, I mean, there are so many dragons. As I said, they're quite tanky and we're kind of lucky on this one as well with facing a super mini clan castle, which is so easy to handle with this attack strategy. So if you're having problems, if you're having any problems basically against the super mini clan castle, <laughs> Go, go for it, go for it and try it. Now the freeze, now the heal, now everything. We have another raid still left, using the raids for the enemy heroes and obviously the town hall, warning ability to make everything invincible. And that's it, this base is done. I mean, obviously there's a back-end air defense, obviously there are like a ton of black mines, as I said, in front of the town hall, and now they're back-end, but still, we have so many dragons and now we're tanking the back-end air defense with a couple of our minions, and that's it. This base is completely wrecked. And this is how you can uh, work with this strategy, right? Like all of those annoying legend bases, which are so hard to deal with, with the typical strategies. This is the new thing. This is so insanely strong. And as I said, for all of the people who are saying, uh, it's, I cannot really play Lalo. I don't have the motivation to practice Lalo. And I get this point. Then just try this. Try dragons. Dragons are a pretty easy uh, troop if you compare it to other troops. So... Let's let's try the next thing. One warm, one more time. We have out of the ground expos on one side, which means we want to kind of get into the ground expos with our dragons because ground expos are pretty useless. So we want to take out the other side. Get our shots. Eagle. Things like that. That would be awesome. So what we're doing, standing in the blimp on the other side. I'm kind of afraid of the uh, sweeper. That's why I'm using the um, the blimp earlier, like that's why I'm popping the blimp early. Another haste, uh, another invisibility spell, just keep everything invisible. So we get the eagle hopefully down at some point. And well, my super wizards, at, at some point they're finally going for this. And one more time, we've got like 20% of the base already gone, which is huge value. Now I'm sending, I'm, now I'm kind of thinking again about what should I do next. I'm figuring out, okay, 
it should be the best just to start with my dragons from the right side because that's the best pathing into the town hall since you don't have any safety blimp for for the town hall right so you have to remember that don't take too many risks to get the town hall especially if you're reaching 50 percent because then the town hall is going to be active on its own so that can be quite risky but at the same time you still have the royal champion like with this invisibility blimp or with this super wizard invisibility blimp you still have all of your heroes that's the crazy part like normally you can take this out with like a suey or something but then you have to take like the king the queen the royal champ things like that of so many things but uh yeah so now the attack is kind of like leading a little bit very much i don't know like it's not the best looking i guess um, so that's quite risky. I'm using the freeze on the air defense actually because I want to protect my dragons a bit more because the king is going to kill my royal champ anyway. Like I don't have any headhunters in this army. So the king is going to win the one versus one even if I use the freeze. So that's why I decided okay let's just do not use the freeze over there. Instead go for the dragons and the fern tower is going down. One more baby dragon at the top side. This is going to be another uh, going to be another triple for us. You guys can see already the pattern. Start to create pathing. And your dragons are going to have a great time with the rest of the base. It's pretty strong, trust me. But now we should get to the next base, which is this one. It's kind of strange looking, right? But one more time, we have to create the pathing. We have a huge dead zone in this base, which we can abuse. So what I'm going for is obviously we could go for the eagle, things like that. But sometimes, sometimes we have just go like you have to just go for the pathing. That's just something the right thing to do. And what we're trying to do is kind of interrupting this ring, and what what do i mean what do i mean by this ring well this base like the town is kind of centralized so we want to create pathing into the town hall with interrupting the ring which is on the left side the single inferno tower if we're getting this out of the way then we're looking pretty good to make sure that the dragons are going from the eagle into the town hall that's kind of the next goal so for me right now i have to somehow place the invisibility spells luckily the um the the inferno tower is going down now the enemy king is going down, which is awesome. Like, always remember, the king is actually quite annoying if you're going in with, uh, with the dragons. And now that's the next thing. Just send all of the dragons in and push or use your heroes to push the, tr uh, the, the dragons into the core of the base. And that's what I mean. Like, with taking out the left side of the base, with the singing from the tower and everything, we have such a good pathing into the town. You can see it. Eagle, Van Castle, Town Hall. All of this is just really, really nicely... Um, the eagle, sadly, is not really following the core dragons. That's why I have to use the heal inside. Use another rage over there as well. So that's quite unfortunate. The eagle is staying with the bottom side, uh, like with the bottom group. Now using the warden ability. I think most of my dragons dodged the giant bomb or like the town hall bomb anyway. But now we have the royal champion still left. We have still the freeze left to use. And my dragons are kind of split up because my heroes were kind of slow. So the heroes still have their abilities left. So we have a lot of power for this back end. I'm kind of thinking about, okay, what should I do? What should be the next move? And then I'm figuring out, okay, if I can protect my dragons, this should be an easy triple. So what I'm doing over here, using the Royal Champion, Royal Champion ability, uh, which is one-shotting most of those things. Then the Royal Champion is taking out the single Fern Tower. And this means this is going to be another three-star archers at the top side, minions at the left side. And well, this is going to be the next three-star, as I said. So overall, this looked pretty good. But obviously, as I said, the Super Wizard Blimp, you need some time to practice it, it to get like the routine in. Um, you need to know where you can place it. There, because there are a couple of really sneaky things in the game where you should not drop it. And you need to be really careful. One of those things is um, giant bombs, for example. Let's try to take out on this one the eagle, the sc like scatter and everything basically over there. So rage, invisibility spell, and everything. And wait, bomb towers. Bomb towers are another threat to the super wizard blimp. Just so you guys know. I mean, that's a quite unfortunate beginning of the attack, right? Like getting 4% out of this thing, like... <sighs> This was a great attack. I mean, if you want to see attacks like this as well, make sure to watch me live on Twitch. I'm streaming all of this over there and having a great time, sometimes trolling a little bit. I mean, that's just part of the, of, of the story. But still, the, the attack strategy is great. It's really strong. I hope you guys can try it out if, out if you love dragons and the new super wizards. It's just crazy. And especially if you have problems against like certain things like the ground expel meta, which 
is pretty nice for this attack strategy. And then in addition to that, if you're having um, trouble to face the super mini flying castle, that's another great strategy to deal with that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next one. Until then, see ya and bye bye.